Hi everyone, I'm Vicki Marie if you're new to my channel and today I have a 20 questions tag. I've been tagged by Michelle over at Life Adventures and Keto. Thank you, Michelle, so much for thinking of me and tagging me in this video. This one's a fun one. It's not a fall tag, which I've done some of those this month, uh, but this is just a get to know me tag. So, uh, and do watch till the end and find out if you've been tagged. And do go over and check out Michelle's um, uh, channel. I'm going to link that in the cards today and in my description. She is a, just a wonderful person. I really enjoy her channel. She's doing uh, like a series of uh, like a collaboration on meditation and mindfulness right now. So yeah, really great stuff. So go check out her channel. So let's get right into today's video. What does your name mean? My name is Vicki and it means victory. Where are you from? I'm from Colorado. Where were you born? I was born in Florida. What would your parents have named you if you had been the other gender? And that's super easy. My name would have been Will. I would have been named after my father and I would have been a junior. What is your biggest accomplishment? That's really easy for me, uh, my kids. Um, they are out of the house on their own, doing really well. And I would say that's the thing I'm most proud of is being a mom. And you know, being a mom, it's not a perfect thing. I'm not saying I have the perfect kids or that I'm the perfect mom, but it is something that I feel really, really uh, good about. What is your eye color? Well, most people think my eyes are blue. Uh, they are blue a lot of the time, but they're technically hazel. My parents both had hazel eyes. My eyes do change, and if I wear a lot of green, they will look more green. I don't wear green very often because it's frankly not my color. <laughs> what is your favorite candle scent? I love so many different candle scents. I don't, this is a hard one, but I'm gonna go with lavender because that's probably my all time go-to uh, that's consistent. So uh, it's just my go-to for just relaxing and chilling out and just, um, yeah, if I'm doing any kind of journaling work or uh, just even relaxing in a bath water, uh, I, I like smelling lavender. Can you cook? Um, yes, I can cook. I've cooked for a long time now. I think my, I did learn to cook a lot when I was younger, but yeah, I'm not, I wouldn't say I'm the best cook in the world, but my family has never complained. What is good about life right now? I would say for this phase in my life, because we are empty nesters, the really good thing is that we have more time to just do what we want to do, uh, to do things together as a couple, to you know, be flexible, spontaneous. We, our schedule is not nearly as full as it was when the kids were home. Uh, so yeah, I would say just our time together. What is your sign? My sign is Sagittarius. What scares you about aging? Definitely being a burden on my family and loved ones, that really does scare me a little bit. What is your favorite holiday? I'm gonna go with Christmas. I, I love all the holidays, but I will say Christmas is my favorite. What is your guilty pleasure? Um, one of my guilty pleasures right now is my YouTube channel. It kind of kind of is my YouTube, my guilty pleasure in a way, just to have the time to put this much time into something that I really want to do. Uh, that, that's sort of a guilty pleasure for me. Um, the other guilty pleasure is just the flexibility that we have in our life, that if we want to, on the weekends, we just sit down in the middle of the afternoon and watch a movie and eat popcorn. Uh, yeah, I mean, just having flexibility, um, I guess, like food-wise, slipping out the door and going and getting a Big Mac every now and then, um, chocolate, I love chocolate. And I try to eat dark chocolate, but I love Reese cups and I love, um, there's not really a whole lot of chocolate that I don't like, except pretty much anything with coconut, I don't like. <laughs> so with ch I love coconut, but I don't like chocolate and coconut together. I love peanut butter and coconut, yeah, but I guess, those are my guilty pleasures. <laughs> what is the current show that you're binge watching? Uh, John and I do like to binge watch and we watch about an hour, hour and a half during the week on the evenings to wind down. And right now uh, we're watching, we just started watching 
uh, we were watching the Connor, we were watching the Connors, and we watched a couple of those, and then we switched over and started watching American Housewife, I think it's called. And we just started watching those two shows, and they're both really kind of cute. Uh, we like mindless um, television in the, to, just at the end of the day. Something funny and mindless. And uh, yeah, so those are the two we're currently watching. What item can you not leave the house with? And well, except for not counting my purse, my, uh, you know, my wallet, my keys, my chapstick or lipstick, I would say is a protein bar because I, if I go to the store or I go anywhere, um, I really like to have a protein bar just to eat half of that. If I get hungry, that's what keeps me able to eat healthy 80% of the time and not eat Big Macs every single day. Are you a morning person or a night owl? I used to be a night owl for sure. I had a job that sometimes I would stay up till 3 a.m. Um, and then I would get up with my kids and take them and go to school and take them to school, all of that. But uh, since now I'm an empty nester, it's shifted and I started getting up really early and I go to bed early. And I have to say, I love it. So definitely a morning person. I stay up, I don't stay up very late at all. We're in bed by 9, 9.30 and I get up at 5, 5 about 5.15. 5 so yeah, definitely a morning person. I will say when the kids were home, I used to annoy them because by the time they got ready for school, and they'd get downstairs, I would already be on my second cup of coffee, and we would have SpongeBob on the television when they were really little. And I know I just have that kind of irritating high energy after I have ca uh, coffee, and they were just waking up. <laughs> so I think I could get a little too perky in the morning and a little annoying, and I get very chit-chatty after I've had caffeine. What is your favorite genre of movie? Um, I like so many different kinds of movie. It's hard to pick a favorite. I like suspense. I like um, I like drama. Uh, I like uh, I like uh, comedy, um, like romantic comedies. It just depends. Uh, on the weekday, we usually keep our television watching light, and then we dive into something deeper on the weekends. I like documentaries a lot, uh, so I do. I watch a lot of documentaries. But just for mindless television or things like that, I would say romantic comedy. Although, you know, I like Downton Abbey. I love that movie. So that's the kind of stuff I really, really like. Uh, probably like my favorite is just kind of historical um, shows like that that are, you know, have some quality of truth to them and um, give me some insight into other people's lives. I guess I really, I really like that probably the best. What is the last item you bought? And that's really, really easy. It was this. <laughs> so I was at Target yesterday and I bought this mug. I'm, I didn't do a Target haul because I only bought two items. And one thing was this mug and it says, happy fall y'all. This was my last item that I bought. $5 at Target. They had quite a few with different sayings on them. Very cute. Are you an introvert or an extrovert? I would say definitely an introvert. I, uh, I can be an extrovert, but uh, my default is definitely introverted. I, um, yeah, I, I, I used to be so shy growing up that some people would thought I was stuck up. In high school, people would say, you, you, uh, I thought you were stuck up till I got to know you and then I realized you were just so shy. And the last question, what is your favorite book? I just don't even know how to answer that because I love so many books. I have tons of books on my bookshelf. I had probably over a hundred books in my Kindle library. I love books. I like to read stories about people's real lives. Uh, like, kind of like I like to watch documentaries that way too. Um, I do love the Harry Potter series. Of course, you guys know that if you've been following my channel um, and that's because I like I love the Lord of the Rings, the Harry Potter series, anything that is, I mean that one is um, yeah totally make-believe but I do feel like it just strikes a chord uh, about who we are as people and um, you know this idea that we all have that 
there's something bigger than us out there and something that we don't understand and I know we try to and yeah I just I'm intrigued by those types of books anything that that expands my perspective and makes me think uh, I like that I like books that give me insights on why people do what they do why I do what I do helping me understand one book I was just thinking of the other day that I wouldn't mind going back and reading again is The Way of the Peaceful Warrior. I really like that book. Uh, it's an older one. I read it years ago, like 20 years ago probably, but it's this true story of a man named Dan Millman. And um, yeah, it just talks about his life and it just reminds me that we can overcome uh, things. You know, we are so strong and so resilient and yeah, so that's the kind of stuff I like. I really enjoy doing that tag video. Thank you, Michelle, so much for tagging me. And now I'm going to tag some of you. So here's what I'm going to do. Right now, if you are sitting there and you're thinking, I wonder if she tagged me, yes, I did. I'm officially tagging you. Yes, you. <laughs> so um, I figure anyone who has made it this far at the end of the video uh, needs to be tagged. <laughs> and that way I get to know you a little better too. Now, if you've already done this tag video, cause it might have been out there for a while, um, that's all right. Let me know in the comments if you already did it so I can come over and watch it. So I would, that would be good too. Um, but yeah, if you haven't done this tag video and you want to, you are officially tagged, my friend. Let me know in the comments if you uh, if you do decide to do it or if you've already done it. Thanks so much everyone for coming by my channel today, watching my video. Do give me a thumbs up. I would love that. That really helps me to know what kind of content to create here on my channel. Since I am vlogging every day in October, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.